making their way into the Sprint Center for the first of seven Garth Brooks concerts at the Sprint Center. Huge turnout there. They've got tents full of uh, memorabilia you can buy and Garth Brooks gear. All kinds of people. Seven shows starting tonight. Yeah, first time in a decade he's been back first here. First time in 10 years. Tickets for all seven shows sold out within minutes. Well, he did a news conference earlier today. This afternoon, Garth Brooks saying he is excited to be back here in the Metro. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom has a front row seat to the lead up to the concert. <laughs> uh, Cynthia, how are fans anticipating tonight's show? Oh my gosh, you know what? This is just the perfect evening. The weather is great. People are in a great mood. Honestly, it's a party atmosphere down here at the Sprint Center. The crowds are in a great mood. After all, in less than one hour, Garth and Trisha Yearwood are going to be on stage performing. In fact, we actually already have some performances happening out here. The dance we share. Who is this guy? Well, he won a Garth Brooks lookalike contest on the radio, so he and his wife won free tickets for tonight's concert. But all of the people who are coming here lined up and ready and walking in tonight want to see the real deal, the real Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood. And those two superstars are equally excited to see their fans. We get a chance to spend a lot of time with our friends and our family from Oklahoma here this next two weekends too. So it is kind of like coming home, even though neither one of us have ever lived here, but it feels very, very homey. Kansas City is, it's like, uh, for me, it's the, um, it's the next big thing in the Midwest to me. It's Chicago um, all over again. And, uh, and it's with heart and soul. It's with, it's with common sense. So this place is booming. It is booming. And look at these fans. They are lining up and they are entering the Sprint Center ready for tonight's concert. Now tomorrow, Garth is going to go to the MLB Urban League Youth Academy in Kansas City at uh, 18th and Vine. He's going to be talking with Dayton Moore, some former Royals players, and also some young people about what's important in life. So those are his two messages as he comes here uh, to Kansas City. But right now, i got to tell you, the focus is on this concert. And it starts in less than an hour, about 55 minutes minutes so everybody's ready to go and ramped up and excited back to you